What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the baits that have worked best for me in this season of 2021 bass fishing. So, y'all stay tuned. We're going to go through each of uh, these five baits I've got right here. Um, I'm going to tell you which when they are, which baits you know have worked best for me in order from best to worst, and then I'll go a little bit into detail on each one. Uh, and if y'all want me to make uh, a video on each bait or whatever you want, just let me know down in the comment section. I make sure to, excuse me, read all you guys' comments. Make sure, you know, I'm answering all you guys' questions. So if you have any questions about any of these baits, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. One best bait, hands down, that I've had the most success with here in 2021 is this bait right here. I don't know if you guys know what this is called. It's called a chatter bait. It is, I've made a, a video about it before on my channel. Uh, so if you if you don't know how to fish a chatterbait, feel free to go. It's titled How to Fish a Chatterbait, I believe, on my channel. It'll, I think it goes into a little bit more detail on how to fish this. You know, I'm, in, I'm at the pond showing you how to fish it and all that stuff. So this bait by far is the bait I've had the most success on all year long. Uh, I fished it and Pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn, post I mean, every, it just, it just gets their attention so well and they just hammer this bait at, you know, any time of the year. Um, so this is, if you don't have a chatter bait in your box, I suggest you going out and grabbing a few. Uh, I think the best one out there is the Z-Man. Uh, that's the best brand. They make a few different chatter baits, but the Z-Man, I, I like to stick with it because the blade, activates a lot faster than most chatter baits so as soon as it hits the water it's already gone so uh i normally stick with uh a green pumpkin or a black and blue uh because we've got murkier water around here i just that's what i've noticed works the best uh you can pretty much pair it with any creature bait you want i like the pat the zoom paddle tail swim baits uh for it you can put a crawl on it like a bandito bug or a crack and crawl whatever you want to put on it um it's completely up to you. But yeah, the Chatterbait is definitely number one in my books. Right next there to it is the Spinnerbait. Uh, I think this is a half ounce Spinnerbait uh, in the white and chartreuse uh, color. It mimics the shad along with the blades. Um, I've had just as much success, if not just a little bit less on the Spinnerbait than I have had with the Chatterbait. Um, I just love throwing bladed jigs. They have worked the best for me uh, the past couple of years. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't gotten yourself a spinner bait, I definitely suggest going out and getting you some spinner baits. They're great baits. Any bladed jig is great um, for you to throw year round. Uh, the color just depends on your water clarity, which you know you should be able to figure out for yourself and know uh, you know what color you need to throw. Um, but moving into the number three bait is going to be a jig, just any type of jig. Uh, this is like a more finesse jig. I forgot the exact type of jig. I think it's a... Ugh, man, I forgot the type of jig it was. I bought it from a lake store, and uh, they're pretty good jigs. Uh, I like to pair it with any creature. Normally a crawl is what I pair these jigs with, like any, like... Crack and crawl or bandito bug or you know, little grubs. Uh, I s started using a smaller trailer for my jigs here recently. Uh, like this little grub, they just seem to get a better hookup ratio with them. Um, and I just like the way they look in the water, honestly. I like the little red uh, grub, looks like a crawfish more so than the, just the regular green pumpkin. I just like the way the the red complements the green pumpkin jig. I just I think it looks excellent in the water. So I've got a lot of, a lot of fish on bladed jigs, normal jigs, uh, and then we'll move into the Texas rig. And in the Texas rig are these ribbon tail worms. Uh, I've Texas rigged a bunch of different plastics this year. Um, and these right here have had the most Success. There's just something about that action that these ribbon tails get off, give off in the water that the fish just go nuts for. Um, it's just a great bait. I mean, big worms in the summer equal big bass. I mean, if you haven't seen my uh, PB video where I caught my biggest bass ever, 
I show you how to fix fish the Texas rig and it shows you exactly how effective this bait is. So I caught an eight pounder, I think a six or a seven and a four and three quarter. So it was almost a five. So I caught a lot of big fish back to back to back in one of that, in those, uh, I think it's a how to fish a Texas rig video uh, a couple weeks ago. I think it was like a week ago. Um, but it just goes to show any, any of these ribbon tail worms that work great. This is, this is the, exact worm I caught my PB on. Uh, so it's a little different from the other one, but I've caught plenty of fish on these right here. So that is the number four bait for me is probably the Texas word, uh, Texas, Texas rig worm. Uh, any, any Texas rig works good. I've caught Texas rig fish on uh, the Kraken crawls and the bandito bugs, uh, just casting and just Texas rig fishing it. Uh, but yeah, that, that's my top four baits uh, that I have had the most success with this year. There's a few other baits, like a couple top waters, but I haven't caught a lot of top water fish. Uh, there's a few. Um, and it's June now, so the, the frog fishing should be amazing. But I'm getting a lot of my bites on this right here and the jig. I have noticed that the bite has slowed down just a, just a hair on the chatterbait uh, as the season get, uh, got later. But early season and mid season, the chatterbait was hammering. It was absolutely hammering. And last year it was hammering. I mean, I pretty much threw a chatterbait every time I went fishing last year and was catching fish. So um, chatterbait's definitely my number one bait. Probably the Texas rig is number two. Texas rig ribbon tail worm is number two. And then obviously the jig and the spinner bait. Those are not the other two really good baits that I've had a lot of success with this year. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about any of these uh, baits or how to fish any of these baits, techniques, tips, tricks, any of that stuff, uh, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. Also, uh, we've got uh, these Wu Tungsten hats. Uh, just got a few of them. Uh, we are pro staff for Wu Tungsten, as you can see. Um, so if you head over to our Instagram page, there's a link to the Instagram and the YouTube banner. Uh, if you're on an iPhone, you might not be able to see it, but if you're on a desktop, you should be able to see it. It'll, if you click on it, it'll take you over to the Instagram page. It'll take you straight to Wu Tungsten. You can pick up yourself some wristbands. I'm wearing one right now, some wristbands, some cool hats. You can join our pro staff team. Uh, and if you use our code WooFriends10, you get 10% off on your order. So be sure to check that out if you want some cool uh, Woo Tungsten weights. They sell tungsten weights, they sell apparel, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. So if you need any of that stuff, feel free to go there, check it out. Uh, I'll link their Instagram page down below in the description. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, comment, tell me what you liked about it, and y'all have a good one. Peace.